Hi guys, welcome back to Hanging Out with Lori. I'm Lori. If you're new here, welcome. I'm sure glad you're here today. And if you're returning, welcome back. Okay, this is the deal. Last month I got my Ipsy bag and then I promptly lost it. And I didn't find it until yesterday. Well, technically Wednesday because I think this will be going up on Friday. But I thought, well, I better do a review on this before the new one comes in. I guess not a review, just, uh, you know, showing you what I got since I haven't used any of the products. So let's check out what I got. Now the bag last month, as you guys all have seen across the YouTube averse, is this beautiful... Um, butterfly bag. Now, I am not a girly girl whatsoever, but I can appreciate the femininity of this bag. It is gorgeous. It is soft. It It's probably my favorite Ipsy bag that I have ever received. It's just beautiful. Now, on the inside, let's see what we have. All right. The first one is this Deuce Punk Volumizer Mascara, and it's a deluxe size sample. Perfect size for me since um, I can't use full size mascaras. I've never used a Deuce mascara. If you have, please um, let me know in the comments what you think of it. Yeah, I'm I'm interested. I put off trying the Deuce eyeshadows that I kept getting for the longest time. And then I tried them one day and I fell in love and I used my eyeshadow palette for like a whole week. And I never um, use the same palette twice unless I'm doing some type of challenge with those palettes. So I do like Deuce. I'm just wondering what the mascara is like. The next thing is this Glamour Dolls crease brush. Now I have this same exact brush, um, but it's getting a little worn. It's more like a blending brush now than a crease brush, but I don't care because I love it. These are so soft and they are just heaven to work with. They're balanced nicely. So, Glamour Dolls, one of the best, in my opinion, one of the best brushes you can get out there. The ones that I have, I purchased my own. I didn't get in any type of bag or box. So, I'm excited to have a second one of these because these brushes are just great. The next one is, I opened it first, is this Luna by Luna eyeshadow. And it is in the color Celine, I think is, yep, Celine. It, when you look at it in the pot, we might not get this open. When you look at it in the pot, it isn't the most, you know, beautiful shade. It's just normal. I would say, but when you swatch it, oh my heavens, I think this is so beautiful. Look at that. It's like this mauve rose gold. I think it would make a beautiful highlight, and I want to try it as a highlighter, but look at that. I mean, holy smokes, just beautiful. So the look of this is extremely deceiving because it is a gorgeous, gorgeous color. The next thing I got is by Mud Masky. It is there. I can't read it. It's a pore refining mask. I can't read the, the that print is white and so little I can't read it. 
I have never heard of mud masking, and so I'm going to have to research this specific mask to see if it will work with my dry skin. If it does, I am excited to try it. Um, but if it doesn't, I'm going to have to pass this along. The last thing we got is this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream, and it's in Stockholm. Now, when I saw this, um, I was kind of underwhelmed by the color. I didn't think it was that pretty. And then I swatched it, and then I tried it on. And it is really beautiful. It is just a pinkish brown nude. And I really think it is suitable for my skin tone. What do you think? I only have tried one other NYX Soft Matte Lip Creams. These are okay. They're um, comfortable enough. But the outside packaging is very deceiving because this does not look like this. And the other one I have, Milan, doesn't look as bright and vibrant on the outside of the bottle as it is um, when you swatch it. So should we see what this looks like on my lips? Okay, we can do that. Why not, right? We've got a few minutes left. So, I'm sorry that this is late and you've already seen a bazillion Ipsy um, unbaggings for April, but I appreciate you watching this and supporting it even though it is how many weeks late. And I did get mine really close to the end of the month. so. Here's my shameless plug for Ulta Beauty. Because I like them. Okay, I don't know how well this application is going to be because my, trim my trimmer isn't bad, but it's present. I cannot get it even. I'm starting to look a little silly. Okay, let's finish up the top. See, so far you can see the color, how pretty it is. There, what do you think? I know that it isn't a perfect application, but I think it's pretty. Do you like it? I think it suits my skin tone more than I thought it would. So it's not as yellow brown as the bottle made me think it was. So if you get Ipsy, what did you get in your April Ipsy bag? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Did we get some similar things? Let me know in the comments down below. I'm always interested in knowing what other people are getting in their bags. And I wanted to get this up before my May bag shows up for me to unbag because I didn't want to do them together because, because then it's rushed and we can't really talk about each item too much. So yeah. That is my April Ipsy bag done in May. You guys have a great day. Take good care of yourself. And I will see you on the next one. Bye.